Let's play solitaire. Solitaire for American style mahjong. This is a really great way to practice decision making through the Charleston and the pick and discard phase of the game by playing four hands at one time. If you're new to Mahjong or if you're an intermediate player and you want to improve your game, consider subscribing to my channel. When you do, click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss anything. Let's play solitaire. I have all my tiles out and they have been mixed. And I have a placard here for targeted onset and one for maximum usage. These are two strategies that I like to use when I play and I'm testing a theory and I want to track the winning hands and the strategies used for those hands. So I'm going to take 14 random tiles for East and then 13 random tiles for the other three players. And we'll get started. Okay, I think everybody has their tiles. I like to set it up so that I have four on the edges with five in the middle for the other three players and then for the dealer, four on each side with six in the middle. That way you know they have the right number of tiles because if you're off, you can wreck the solitaire game. So let's start with the dealer and see what we can do with these tiles. There we go. All right, we have some wins. Here's a one, two, three. There's a multiple. Here's a multiple with the nines, too. Maybe we could play something with three, six, nine. That would be leveraging multiples. So let's try that. I think as an option, We could maybe play something consecutive. So let's hold the one and the two. Let's say this is gonna be the targeted onset strategy because we're gonna leverage the multiples. We're gonna target those two multiples from the start. Let's see what we can do for these other players. Okay, so this player has a multiple here in the ones and fives. I'm thinking a one, three, little odds. One, three, one, three, five. We'll hold all the little odds. Let's see, for passing, I'm thinking one of each suit. And then I forgot to do a pass here. Let's pass these three down here. We'll pass those three there. Let's see what we can do for this player. Okay, so for this player, I see a lot of two, four, six, eight. There is a gap though. There's no eight. I'm thinking probably a two, four, six, eight hand though. Two, four, six, eight here. So for passing, let's pass those three. Two, four, six, eight for this player. Let's see what we can do with this one. Okay. Two, three, four, five, consecutive. Two, three, four, five, joker bait. We'll pass these. Two, three, four, five. So let's say this one is gonna be maximum usage. 
these are mostly evens regardless of the multiple we happen to have a multiple there but i think we're going on maximum usage which is evens most of the tiles are even so let's see what happens i use this to try to help me keep track of the charleston so for the first right east passes to south south passes to west west passes to north and north passes to east okay so that first right is done let's see what we have we have a nine for a three six nine we have a multiple here that could be good joker bait and we have tiles we can pass east seven green okay let's see what we have for south south oh we have a one there's a multiple one if we get a three dot that would be nice for the one three five and we have tiles to pass here let's pass these three that's not too bad it's a little risky with the six eight there west oh we got an eight and a two okay and now there's a six i'm thinking maybe this player could play that two four six eight pair hand that would be the fourth one down under under singles and pairs let's pass those three let's see what north got two three four five no keepers okay so we're going to do the next charleston we're going across so east and west pass and north and south pass let's see what he's got okay we've got a six for something three six nine let's give up on these we could even play north and south with nines let's pass those three it's a little risky one suit and the one two there hmm all right let's keep going we're playing little odds we got one right there so let's pass those three we have evens we need we can pass all those we need two three four five we need three bams up here those can be passed so we went across now we're going to do first left east passes to north north to west west to south and south to east so let's see what we got they're looking for three six nine no keepers here we're looking for little odds one three five no keepers here we're looking for two four six eight we've got a six and an eight so they have to make a choice the two four six eight uh one suit options there are two of them i think though they're closer to the pair hand i'm going to give up on that and shoot for that pair hand we'll pass those three and then for this player up here we need two three we need three bams up here so that's no keepers there so that was first left now we're going to do second left so north passes to west west to south south to east east to north let's see what happens no keepers we're looking for little odds here no keepers two four six eight we got a keeper here okay they're gonna have to make a choice let's come back to it maybe give up the six we need an eight dot here let's see what north got 
We need, oh, we got a keeper, two bam. Maybe we're getting close enough. Two, three, four, five. Maybe we should risk passing a flower there. We finished second left. Now we're going across. They have to continue, so they have to pass a flower or break up their hand. I think they're close enough to risk it. So north and south pass and east and west pass. Let's see what we got. We got a six. I don't think that's gonna help them. It looks like they're in a two suit option or north and south with nines. Let's see what this player got. Okay, one, three, five. They needed a three dot in here. Let's keep the flower, maybe pass one of each suit there. Let's see here what this player got. Discards and north. They're looking for two, three, four, five. They need a three bam. Those can be passed. So that was an across pass. Now we're on last right. North passes to east, east to south, south to west, and west to north. Let's see what we got. We've got a six, but we're looking for nines south or maybe a six crack. So that six really didn't help. Let's see here what we have. They're still looking for a three dot. Didn't come in for them. Maybe we should keep the one. We could maybe even switch to all ones. We could pass those three. Or maybe we should just switch to like numbers with ones. Either way, we don't need this one crack. So we're in between like numbers with ones or one, three, five, little odds. And here we have a six. That's not gonna help if we're playing that pair hand. And then let's see here, no help there either. So we are now on optional cross. And everyone has full passes. North and South Pass. Oops. And East and West Pass. Okay. Oh, there's a keeper. Finally. Wow. Three, six, nine, six, nine. Who knows? Two discards. That's not too bad. Let's see how that continues there. Okay, this one is in between like numbers with the dragon or little odds. No, no, no keepers there. But we can hold that six. We got the six back. That was worth the risk getting rid of that. We got it back. So we'll see what happens there. Let's see up here. We needed three BAMs, didn't come in, so they have discards. All in all, everybody's pretty close. So we don't need this anymore, we can get rid of that. I'm gonna use this to mark whose turn it is. Let's see how this goes. So we're gonna start with East discarding and East. And I'm just gonna discard back here, and we're gonna draw from this random, randomly placed tiles here. So we're gonna draw for player two. A six bam, that's not a good keeper, but we might as well get rid of that east. Now we're gonna draw for player three, red dragon. Let's just get rid of the wins. It's looking like nobody wants wins. We'll draw for this player here, a dragon. Let's see here, two, four, five, yeah, let's get rid of the green and draw for the f first player. We've got a four crack, might as well get rid of the seven dot. It doesn't really matter at this stage. And then we'll throw or draw for player two. Ooh, one bam. 
So I'm thinking probably like numbers is stronger than little odds. Let's get rid of the green. It's already been discarded once. And then we'll draw for player three. There's a two. If they're playing a pair hand, they really don't need this two, but let's just hold it for a while and get rid of the red. Nobody can take the red, so let's draw for player four. Uh, seven bam, that's not helpful. We'll discard that and draw for player one. Five bam, that's a discard. We'll just go ahead and throw it. Five bam, player two, nine crack. That's not helpful. Let's just discard the nine crack and draw for player three. White dragon, discard. Get rid of it early. Player four. Five dot, that's a keeper. They need three bams though, badly. We have two, three, four, five. This would be the second hand under consecutive run. Let's go ahead and discard the one crack. Maybe they can get a joker out of this flower. Uh, so I threw a one crack. Nobody can take a one crack. Let's draw for player one. A six dot. Let's throw the four crack. Since a six dot is part of the three, six, nine, maybe it'll come in handy. Who knows? Nobody can take a six dot, so let's draw for player two. East. That's a discard. Player three. White. It's already been thrown. Nobody wanted it. Discard. Player four, three dot. Oh, wrong tile. Three, four, five though. Three, four, five. Maybe they could play a quint. Three, four, five quint hand. That would be the second hand from the bottom under quints. Two flowers, a quint of one number, pair in the middle, quint of a the third number in a sequence. Let's get rid of the eight dot. Nobody can take the eight dot, so let's draw four. Player one, Joker, keep it. Let's discard the six dot and draw for player two. Three bam, that's a keeper. We're back to maybe one, three, three, five. You really don't have to pick a hand when you have discards. They're in between little odds and like numbers. So let's throw the six bam. Nobody can take the six bam. So let's, let's just hold off for a second because technically this player could take it for a three, six, six, nine potential. Three, six, six, nine. That would be the fourth hand down, no, second hand down under 369. Pung, Kong, Pung, Kong. They would have to commit though right now. I think it's too early to commit. I'd pass on it. Let's draw for player three. Nine ma'am. Discard, nine bam. Okay, now this player has to decide because that's the second tile they've let go. So I'm thinking three, six, six, nine. Let's take it, Kong. So it's this player's turn here. So we've got a Kong. We're gonna have them commit to three, six, six, nine. Pung, Kong, Pung, Kong. They're kind of behind the curveball though, or the, what do you call it? Eight ball, curveball, some kind of ball. They're behind it. So let's go ahead and discard, thinking maybe this could be Joker bait. Let's discard the nine crack. Nobody can take that nine crack, so let's draw for player two. Two dot. That doesn't matter, let's discard the seven crack. 
Nobody can take a seven crack, so we'll draw for player three. Eight crack. Oh, they need eight dots. This, this pair hand looks really good. Let's hold the two though. Two, four, six, eight with flowers. Let's go ahead and get rid of the eight bam. Nobody can take an eight bam, so we'll draw four north. Joker, that's a good tile. I think, yeah, they could even play that quint maybe. Let's get rid of the six dot. Nobody can take a six dot, so we'll draw four player one. Nine dot, discard. Nobody wants the nine dot. We'll draw for player two. Green, discard. Player three. Eight dot. Woo! Let's discard that six dot. So they filled that gap there. They're one away from that pair hand. Maximum usage. Okay, let's draw for player four. Seven dot. Discard. Drawing for player one. Three dot. That's a discard. Three dot. If this player up here is playing a quint, that three dot, they have to let it go because they need to quint, a quint that. They're one tile short. So I would say that probably is going to go by the wayside. I'd switch them to two, three, four, five at this point because they're going to need another joker. They don't really have to decide yet though. Let's go ahead and draw for player two. Seven, bam, that's a discard. Player three. One crack, that's a discard. Player four. Seven crack, discard. Player one. South, north and south with nines. So that might have worked, but too late now, we've committed. Let's throw the south. Nobody wants wins, so we'll draw for player two. Joker. Let's discard the two dot. They still don't have to decide yet. Two dot, discard. Player three. Three crack, that's a discard. Player four. West, discard. Player one. Four bam, discard. Player two. Four bam, discard. Player three. Six crack, they've already got that handled. Okay, we're in between. Let's count. They're one tile, well really at this point two. Well, let's say one discard from that pair hand. If they were to switch to the two, four, six, eight, one suit hand, which would be concealed, the last hand under two, four, six, eight, they'd have five discards. I think we should wait and hold on to this pair hand. There's one eight dot out, so this hand is viable. Let's discard the six crack and then draw four, player four. Eight bam, that is a discard. Player one, nine dot, nine dot. Let's, let's get rid of these wins. They've committed with nines. Let's give them some options here and discard this south and draw four, player two. They drew a six bam, that's a good discard for them. Six bam. Now, this player can pung it. So we're gonna pung that and discard the north and draw four, player two. Three dot, it came in finally. One, three, one, three, five. I think we should switch them to one, three, one, three, five. One, three in pairs, one, three in pungs, and a Kong of five crack. This player is set. Let's go ahead and discard the red. Okay, we'll draw four player three, red, discard. Player four, Joker, nice. Two, three, four, five. They're also set. Let's discard this three dot and draw four player one. Nine crack. 
let's hold it although they're really committed to 3669 doesn't matter let's throw north and draw for player two west discard player three nine crack discard player four eight dot discard uh oh this player needs that eight dot that's the second one their hand is still viable let's draw for player one red player two seven bam discard player three east discard player four five bam discard player one okay now just recap player one they're playing three six six nine so they need a pung here and a kong here they got a lot of work to do on that six okay so there's um four four so we need to draw for them this player is playing one three three five this would be the the um one three three five this would be the second hand from the bottom under under odds the this player here is playing the two four six eight pair hand there are two eight dots out so they need that other eight dot or a flower to make them ready this player is set also they need two two bam three bam four dot five dot this would be two three four five that would be the second hand down under consecutive run so let's go ahead and draw for player one south discard drawing for player two five bam that's a discard wrong five and player three five crack that's a discard this player is going to kong it and they're going to discard a one bam nobody wants the one bam we'll draw for player three joker ha <laughs> that's too bad two crack discard it's a safe discard anyway player four south discard player one two crack discard nobody wants that let's draw for player two white dragon nobody wants that player three five bam that's a discard player four three crack discard three crack it's player one they're gonna pung it okay so they have work to do there let's get rid of the flower now flower nobody can take it we're gonna draw for player two flower we need to get rid of these flowers flower not ready for it player three four crack discard player four north discard player one eight dot discard this player's dead so they have to switch their hand probably to two four six eight concealed two four six eight that's painful okay so we're going to draw for player three or player two sorry seven bam that's a discard this player here flower keeper four dot discard okay this player is going to pung it and discard the flower so this player down here it's their turn you might think well maybe they could play the first two four six eight hand they'd have to throw away one of their pairs i think they're better off staying concealed maybe using that joker in here they can use this for joker bait let's draw for player one. Oh, they needed that let's discard the nine crack and draw for player two four dot that's a discard it's already up here player three white dragon 
that's already been thrown twice. Drawing for player four. Six bam. Six bam. That's an exchange right here. Joker bait. <laughs> it just happened. And that would be Mahjong, actually. Right there. Two, three, four, five. And that one wasn't one of the specific strategies that was selected in advance, but still they ended up winning. Two, three, four, five. They got lucky with all those jokers. So that player won. This player was one away from the targeted onset strategy. They basically needed a six, a six crack or a joker here. This player was one away from a one, three, three, five. They needed to pung this three and then be ready on that three dot. This player went dead with a pair hand. So they were four away from maximum usage. They were really close though. Let me know what you think about that solitaire game. That was kind of exciting, I think. A pair hand was in there. We had a lot of punging going on there. And then that last win with the consecutive hand, that kind of surprised me, came out of nowhere. But when you get those jokers, they can really help. I mean, they're not required for most hands, but they sure do help out. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing. And then when you do subscribe, click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any opportunities to learn some new strategies or maybe pick up on an insight of the game that might give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Solitaire for American Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.